Hello, I am Lucy Davis and I play Aunt Hilda in the new Netflix series, uh, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. This is where I live. Come and see. I'm not going to knock because it's my house. OK, come on in. This is our beautiful entrance hall. We've done a million and one scenes in here. And the stairs obviously go up to the uh, second floor of the Spellman house, although that's in another part of the stage. So actually, if you open those doors at the top, there's a very uh, lethal drop down there. So we have several of these little doors all around the house, and they uh, behind them are meant to be secret passageways um, going through the whole middle of the Spellman house. This one leads to the embalming room, which we'll see later. But as you can see, there are two steps, and it goes to nothing. Hi. This is our uh, living room, our lounge area. It's the room with six doors in it. Um, a fabulous plate glass ceiling um, and then at the moment the room is quite untidy because um, it's rigged for special effects we just did um, which I won't give away why but basically the, the room comes alive and it was really something special to be I was actually in the scene and it was something special to witness what um, our special effects department did it was really amazing we also have a painting over our fireplace here which apparently was uh, an inspiration for the dark baptism that happens in episode two. I love the fact that presumably Zelda has put this over the fireplace because Hilda wouldn't have done that. And here's one of our little secret passageways. I'm just gonna have to nudge it open because it's on a magnet. Uh, and then you can hide from demons. Everyone needs one of these. So this is where Aunt Hilda spends so much of her time. Um, I, as Lucy, am vegetarian, and I've somehow managed to fudge it so that I've made Aunt Hilda vegetarian. It's very good. Um, if ever you're watching a scene and you see like steam coming out of things, it will usually be because, whoops, in here is a kettle boiling so that you can see steam coming up, or they'll put water in and then put an implement into the water to make it steam and then take it out just before action is called. Um, then there are like, um, here's obviously what's meant to be a wall, but they can pull that out to put the camera through and get Hilda from this angle and there's the same both sides as well. The, ang the uh, wall is missing on that side for now. Whenever Hilda is cooking and putting things in the oven, we often want to get a camera the other side of the oven and see things put in. I won't give it away, but if you watch episode seven, you'll see what I mean. Um, and we actually have um, uh, a make-believe oven that we bring out here um, so that I can uh, pull it open and we can have a camera this side of it. So if you ever see my head poking through the oven with the thing that I cooked, um, you'll know that it wasn't in here. Every room in the Spellman house is so intricately um, decorated and with so much detail. Um, and I asked Lisa Soper, who was our designer, where she got these mugs from, because I think they're beautiful. And she said they are actually 1920s mugs. And she found them in an antique store and she said, I bought all six. So I don't think I'm going to get my hands on them at the end, uh, unless I'm really nice. And then everywhere in the Spellman house has symbols of bunny rabbits. Um, and if you look up witchcraft and um, rabbits, you'll, you'll see connections with that. And we've got them everywhere. We've got them on um, uh, bed covers, and we've got them on plates over there. Um, we've got actual statues of them. You'll see in the Dark Baptism, there's uh, a character with um, bunny ears, and it's all quite disturbing, actually, because obviously bunnies are meant to be stereotypically warm and cuddly, lest they bite you, which one did me once, so I'm fine with this, actually. <laughs> Changed my mind just in one chat. Stop looking at the shadow man. We're going to the embalming room. And so this is the other bit of the stairs that we saw inside the little tiny door. And it comes down to the embalming room, which is probably my favourite room, my favourite set here. 
if it matters to you. This is the embalming table that's probably been with the Spellmans for about 400 years. Every poor person that has to lie on here and be a dead body has to lie here for several hours. It's pretty cold and it's pretty hard. Over here are the freezers for the dead bodies, although I like to think that perhaps Hilda keeps her extra food that she cooks. She cooks so much. No one can eat it, it's impossible really for anyone in Canada to eat it, but I think she stores them in there. And then over here is the oven that the dead bodies go in, and it's pretty gruesome in there, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like it's been used for literally hundreds of years. So this is largely Ambrose's room connected to the embalming room, and he does a lot of his experiments in here, as you can see with this poor, poor rat that once lived. And oh, phew, I thought we'd run out of vomit. OK, I'm bored of you now. I've shown you the Spellman house and I've got some vomit to cook with. All right.